All right, guys, I'm Dax Castro, and it's that time again where I help you tackle the tax tree and lead you down the road of remediation. Today, I have seven time-saving shortcuts guaranteed to speed up your remediation workflow. I know these might seem a little strange at first, but if you force yourself to start using these shortcuts, I guarantee you'll see an increase in your remediation speed over time. So let's dive right in. We're going to start with the easy one first. Most people should already know this, but we're gonna cover it anyway because I'm always surprised when I'm looking over the shoulder of other remediators and I see them endlessly clicking to drill down into their tags tree. All you have to do is hold down the control key while clicking on the expansion arrow. Then it will expand every tag underneath the parent. This next shortcut is something we deal with in just about every document, artifacting. Typically, we find the object we wanna artifact, we right click on it, and then choose change tag to artifact. Then we wait for the pop-up dialog asking us what type of artifact we wanna create and what side of the page we wanna attach it to, right? From the screen reader's perspective, none of these options mean anything. We just need to set the tag to artifact. So let's make this a lot faster. Simply right click on the object in the tags tree and press the letter E, then press enter. And in less than one second, we've created an artifact and we can move on. Let's do that again. Right click, letter E, enter, done. It's that easy. Moving on to the next one. This is another one that can save more time than you think. We all know that you can highlight text on a page and then click the tags drop down and select find tag from selection. But it's much faster when your left hand works together with your right. So as soon as you click on the tags drop down, press the letter I on the keyboard and the game of hide and seek is over in an instant. The time wasted moving your mouse to find the right line item in the dropdown eats up valuable seconds that can turn into minutes when your day is spent tackling the tag tree. Using your left hand to press the shortcut key is faster and removes the need to coordinate your mouse and brain to click. This next one is a shortcut to the read order tool that can be accessed from a few different places. Of course, we can click on the accessibility tool button and then click on the read order tool but as you know, I'm all about speed. If an accessibility tool panel is not already open, you can save yourself time in two ways. First, you can press Control Shift U to open up the read order tool without having to go through the accessibility panel. The second way is to right click on any tag in the tag tree and simply press the letter X on the keyboard and you're ready to start manually tagging those forgotten or mislabeled elements. Speaking of forgotten elements, manually creating structures like lists and table cells can be a repetitive pain in the neck. This next shortcut works best when you need to create multiple copies of a tag like a series of TDs for a table row or several LI tags for a list. We start like always by selecting the tag above where we want the new ones to appear. Right click, press N for new, and we don't want to waste time hunting down the items from the dropdown, so we simply type the letters LI for list item and press enter. There's nothing terribly new or fast about this yet, but the beauty is that now that we have it set, we can go back to our tags tree, right click again, and just press N and then enter without even pausing, and our duplicate tag is created. Simply repeat this for as many duplicate tags as you need, and you're ready to start repairing your list in seconds. Our next two shortcuts have to deal with the dreaded table and setting row or column headings. We know we can access the table editor through the accessibility toolbar and then the read order panel once we click on the table. But there has to be a faster way, right? Well, there is. From the tags tree, we right click on the parent table tag and press the letter Q. Now you're instantly in table edit mode. No need to open the read order tool, much less the accessibility tool set. But wait, we're not done yet. Nine times out of 10, we're in the table editor because we need to set the heading scopes to column or row. The easiest way to do this is to right click on the cell and press P, then tab, followed by R for row or C for column and press enter. Remember that you can select multiple rows or columns by holding down the shift key and clicking or by dragging a box over the ones you need. Then right click anywhere in the highlighted cells and press the letter P, tab, then R or C. Then press enter and you're done. I know these tips might seem cumbersome at first, but anything new takes time to learn. I've remediated thousands of pages and spent hours, if not days, tangled up in the tags tree. Have patience, 
Keep forcing yourself to use these shortcuts, and before you know it, they'll become second nature, and you'll find yourself flying through that tags tree, taming those tables, and artifacting with ease. This is Dax Castro from Section508.com, and if you've enjoyed these tips, leave a comment below. Share this with your fellow remediators, or better yet, join my PDF remediation group on Facebook, where we share tips and troubles 